Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Marie. Today I would like to show you how to crochet this beautiful fan stitch baby blanket. This classic stitch pattern gives a very lightweight and comfortable fabric and it's also really easy and simple to make. For this blanket I have used 8 skeins of Drops Baby Merino and a size 4mm crochet hook. So with all that said, let's just get started. To begin, we're going to make a slip knot. So I'm going to form a loop and place my working yarn behind the loop, grab my working yarn with my hook and pull tight. And I'm then going to make a number of chains that is a multiple of 8 plus 5. So for my baby blanket, I'm going to have 144 chains plus 5. And that is for a blanket that measures 70 centimeters in width and 90 centimeters in length. But for this little demonstration, I'm just going to chain 29. So I will yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook 29 times. To start the first row, I'm going to skip the first four chains from the hook and here into the fifth chain, I'm going to make a double crochet. So yarn over and insert my hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. And with that, we've just created the first V stitch of the row. And next, we're going to skip the next three chains, one, two, and three. And here into the fourth chain, we're going to make five double crochet into the same chain. Two, three, four, and five. And then I will skip the next three chains, one, two, and three. And into the fourth chain, I will make another V stitch. So to make a V stitch, I'm going to make one double crochet. Then chain one. And one more double crochet into the same chain. And I will just repeat this process all the way across the row. So I will skip three chains and alternate between making five double crochet into the same chain, skip three chains and make a V stitch. So next I will skip three, one, two, three, and make five double crochet into the same chain. And then skip three chains and make a V stitch into the fourth chain. And here at the end of the row, I should have four chains left. I will skip the next three and make a V stitch into the very last chain.
to start the next row I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. And the chain three here will count as the first double crochet of the row. I will make two more a double crochet here into the V stitch from the previous row. So one and two. I will then skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and here into the top of this shell stitch here, I will make a V stitch. So I will make one double crochet, chain one, and one more double crochet into the same stitch. I will then skip the next three stitches and here into the V stitch from the previous row, I will make another shell. So five double crochet into the same space here. And again, I will skip the next three stitches, one, two, and three, and into the top of the shell here, I'm going to make a V stitch. And I will just repeat all the way across the row. So into every V stitch, I will make a shell of five double crochet into the same space. And then I will skip three and make a V stitch into the top of the shells from the previous row. Here at the end of the row, I have three stitches left and a chain four that we started with in row one. I'm going to skip these next three stitches and this one chain, and I will make three double crochet into the top of the third chain. Row two is now complete, so I'm going to chain four to start the third row. One, two, three, and four. And I will turn my work. And the chain four will count as a double crochet and a chain one. And I'm going to make one more double crochet here into the first stitch to create the first V stitch. So I will insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And from here, I can just repeat the previous row. So I will skip the next three stitches and make five double crochet into the V stitch. Again, skip three stitches and make a V stitch into the top of the shell stitch here. And just repeat till you reach the end of the row.
and here at the end of the row I'm going to skip the next two stitches and make a V stitch into the top of the chain three here from row two. So I will make one double crochet, chain one, and one more double crochet into the same stitch. And from here I can just go on repeating the last two rows until I have reached the desired length of my blanket. And now that I'm all done I'm going to make the border of my blanket. And my border is just going to be three rounds of half double crochet all the way around. So I'm going to turn my work like this, then yarn over and insert my hook into the side of this V stitch here. Then pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. And I will make one more half double crochet into the same stitch here. And I will make two half double crochet into the side of this double crochet stitch here. And again, two half double crochet into the V stitch. And two half double crochet into the side of this double crochet stitch. And I will just repeat all the way down here the side of my blanket. And to create the corner here of my blanket, I'm just going to make three double crochet here into the first chain here. And I will make two half double crochet here into the space from the starting chain. And one half double crochet into this next stitch. And again, two half double crochet into the next space. And one half double crochet into the next stitch. And just continue on across the row. Then I will make three half double crochet into this next chain. And I will just make the side of my blanket here just like I did before. And now that I've reached the corner here, I'm going to make two half double crochet into this next chain here. And I will make a half double crochet into the next stitch. And a half double crochet into the next. And to get as many stitches here in the top of my blanket as I have here in the bottom, I'm going to skip the next stitch and make a half double crochet here into the middle stitch in the shell.
and I will also skip the next stitch and make a half double crochet into the next. And a half double crochet into the next stitch and a half double crochet into the V stitch and again into the next stitch and a half double crochet into the first stitch of the shell stitch then skip the next and a half double crochet into the middle of the shell and a half double crochet into the last stitch of the shell so three half double crochet in the shell stitch and I will just repeat all the way across the row and here at the end of the row I will just make two half double crochet here into the last V stitch And I will end the round with a slip stitch here into the first stitch of the round. And to start the next round, I'm going to chain one. And I will just make a half double crochet into every stitch around. And into every corner, I will make three half double crochet. So into the middle of the three half double crochet here in the corner, I will make another three half double crochet. And I will just make a half double crochet into every stitch here in the bottom of my blanket. And again, three half double crochet into the corner. And again, one half double crochet into every stitch here in the side of the blanket. And for the last corner here, three half double crochet. And one half double crochet into every stitch of the top of the blanket. And here at last, I will make three half double crochet into the very last stitch. And I will end the round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And I will just make round three of the border in exactly the same way as round two. And here at last I will just make a slip stitch into the first stitch and pull my yarn through and I will fasten off my yarn and all that is left to do is just to weave in the yarn tails on the back side And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and feel free to subscribe to my channel. 
if you want a lot more crocheting tutorials from me. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.